All right, you guys. So as you can see by the title, we're going to go through this article real quick. Look, federal government has to face false debt reporting lawsuit Supreme Court rules. Now, you know, when you see federal, federal is it's a corporation, right? So we know that. The high court sided with the Pennsylvania man seeking to sue the government for damaging his credit. Hmm. So why is your credit so important? Well, we know why. And we're about to show right right now. The Supreme Court on Thursday rejected the federal government's attempt to avoid a lawsuit stemming from incorrect debt reporting that left the Pennsylvania man with damaged credit. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Rural Housing Services reported Reginald Kurtz loan as delinquent, even though he had paid off the balance. Man paid his dues, had an administrative set off, and they still want to come after him. Kurt sued the government under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which if you don't know, if you're not familiar with that, you need to become very familiar with that, which allows consumers to sue any person. Now, we know a person is many things. Look up the legal definition who fails to comply with the law. Not some persons, any person. Federal corporation, right? So it's a person that falls under the definition of person and the U.S. code. Moving to dismiss the case, the government claimed it was immune from Kurt's lawsuit. Now, how the fuck you go be immune from a law that you put in place? Just because you put it in place, just because Congress put it in place, that means you're immune? Hell no. Why? Because you're a corporation, first of all. No way you're immune. A federal judge agreed, but the Third Circuit reversed that ruling. I'm going to just go out on a limb and say this person either didn't know what the hell they were doing or they're corrupt. At the Supreme Court in November 2023, Benjamin Snyder, assistant to the Solicitor General at the Justice Department, said not recognizing the government's sovereign immunity would be inconsistent with the doctrine itself. How do you have sovereign immunity? You're a corporation and you are under the Congress that makes these rules. You're not above it. You're under it. You were made via Congress so that, so how could, you, and, and again, this is where they, they get things twisted. Why? Because you got to understand the United States Corporation Company is a federal corporation. It's a corporation. Okay. It's a corporation. It is not. We're not talking about the constant, the constitutional continental government, which is unseated, which has no Congress seats. They're completely vacant. There's nobody sitting in Congress. The real Congress, the continent, the de jure, not the de facto corporation that's based out of fucking District of Columbia and the incorporation doctrine. Two different United States, y'all. Y'all need to understand this shit. But they're not telling you all of that in here. That They're not telling you the actual reason beneath the reason. Nandan Joshi, I butchered that name, but anyway, an attorney with Public Citizen Litigation Group represents Kurtz, said Congress intended the government to be included in the group of people that could face liability for false reporting. The justices ruled unanimously in Kurtz's favor, holding that a consumer can sue a federal agency, which is a corporation, for denying, excuse me, for defying the terms of the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Justice Neil Gorsuch, or Gorsuch, a Donald Trump appointee, wrote the opinion for the court, largely affirming the Third Circuit's decision that the doctrine explicitly opens the door for lawsuits against the federal government <coughs> corporation. We think the third, in quotes, we think the Third Circuit reached the right decision in this case. The Fair Credit Reporting Act affects a clear waiver of sovereign immunity. So they do not have immunity. It is waived. Gorsuch wrote in Thursday's opinion. When the act was enacted in 1970, the law focused on two groups, consumer reporting agencies like TransUnion and Equifax and Experian. Like TransUnion, the company, the USDA, alerted about Kurt's supposed delinquency 
and persons who request credit information from reporting agencies. Remember, y'all, legal definition of persons. You got to understand that. The statute defined persons broadly to include partnerships, corporations, cooperatives, associations, governments, or governmental subdivisions or agencies. The act, the act's reach was further expanded in 1996 with the Consumer Credit Reporting Reform Act when Congress added provisions focusing on those who provide information to consumer reporting agencies. So not only the consumer reporting agencies are on the hook, the people reporting the information to the consumer reporting agencies or the persons, persons meaning all those in that definition in the aforementioned. The additions required that if a consumer challenges the accuracy of their accuracy, accuracy, you know, it's funny. That's a funny word, boy, how people pronounce that word in so many funny ways. I even did it just now myself. Accuracy of their credit reports. The person who made the report must investigate and correct any mistake. Now, here's the cap. Not only must they correct it, but you can sue these motherfuckers for violating it. It's in the Fair Credit Reporting Act that there's minimum and maximum violations. And depending on what state you're in and the corporation that's operating in your state, I know California in certain instances, because I'm out here in Cali, kill a Cali. And you, when you're in the state, it could be up to $10,000 for each offense. So they even capping right here, correct any mistake. Yeah, correct that mistake and run me my money because you violated my ass. You stuck a broom up my ass with no goddamn Vaseline. Kurtz argued that the USDA failed to investigate this, his repeated complaints. So the guy even had repeated complaints saying, pleading, saying, hey, listen, look, you violated me. You got this broom up my ass improperly. It's not supposed to be up my ass. It, it should be over there on the side somewhere where, where the janitors go sweep up all the other, you know, black black fund black market uh funding that the pentagon you know can't even uh get a clean bill of health from the general accounting office yeah you, you go take that broom over there to them shove it up their ass right because of all the defilement that they've done in the accounting all right complaints leading him to seek damages under the act i'm sorry y'all i i got a rant in tangents on this shit cuz i i'm spastic like that when it comes to Things getting people getting away. How do Pentagon get away with if if the Pentagon had to report to the IRS, which I'm sure in some way they probably do, but they probably getting away with it. But if the if the IRS was responsible for doing that accounting, do y'all know how many how much how many fees would the IRS charge you if you had a trillion dollars that was unaccounted for on your income? Now they don't that's not income for them because they're spending but what I'm saying is if they were put under the scrutiny as the average American or the average US citizen corporate citizen the Pentagon would have a broom up their ass like they had with this guy that's all I'm saying non non belligerent non combatant according to a 2021 consumer report study cited by Gorsuch in his opinion, over 34% of consumers survey found at least one error in their credit reports. Go check your credit reports, folks. It's free. You can check your credit reports once every seven days. All three credit reports completely free. I'll, I'll put the link in the description. Reminder, editor, which I'm the editor, put it in the description. 29% report errors in personal information and 11% found account information errors. Mistakes like these can lead lenders to insist on higher interest rates or other terms that make it difficult or impossible for the consumers to obtain a mortgage, auto loan, student loan, or other credit. And it might even be just you trying to rent an apartment, right? You're just trying to get a roof over your head. Gorsuch said, Gorsuch noted, these days too, Federal agencies are among the largest furnishers of credit information to consumer reporting agencies. You better check your credit reports. You better go ahead 
and stop all the data brokers from sharing your information. You better opt out. You better freeze. In the federal agency's attempt to dismiss the case, it argued that the federal government holds sovereign immunity from suits for money damages unless Congress explicitly waives that immunity further. The agency argued the Fair Credit Reporting Act says nothing about the federal government being open to lawsuits. Gorsuch wrote that the high court agreed to hear the case in order to clarify a split between several appellate courts on the question of immunity. The 7th and D.C. circuits have held, like the 3rd Circuit, that the government was not immune while the 4th and the 9th Circuit have supported immunity. So y'all know who the, y'all, y'all, we need to know who's in that 4th and the 9th Circuit because they, they was off basis. Supreme says, Supreme Court says so. 9 0 unanimous, royal flush, or whatever. I don't play cards, but y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Game, game, game laid down quite flat. Lock, stock, and barrel. Done. 9-0. No contest. Not TK, not even a technical. Technical and a knockout. Yeah, technical knockout. Okay? Tyson to knock you down three times. Done. It's over. Because I laid my game down quite flat. In his close reading of the statute, Gorsuch found the act specifically authorizes consumer suits against anyone who willfully or negligently uh, fails to investigate consumer complaints. Yeah, I know I speak English, but sometimes I come across English words and I'm like, damn, how do I pronounce that? Anyway, dismissing suits like Mr. Kurtz would effectively negate suits Congress has clearly authorized, Gorsuch wrote. We need to look no further to resolve this case. He acknowledged the government's argument and its right to question the wisdom of holding federal agencies accountable for their violations of the act, but emphasized the fact that Congress has clearly spoken on the issue. Congress's judgment commands our respect and the law it has adopted speaks clearly. Respect my authority! A consumer may sue any federal agency, which we know when you say federal, you're talking about a corporation, federal agency for defying the law's terms, Gorsuch said. Gorsuch said. It's there, y'all. Y'all just got to start paying attention to stuff and reading and understanding these cases because I'm telling y'all, they sticking a broomstick up everybody's ass and it's done by consent. Okay. We consent to be governed. But if you consent to have a broom up your ass, they're going to leave it up your ass. Pull the broom out. I want you to pull it out, whether it's fast or slow, but be in the process of pulling it out. Stop letting these 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 people be like this man. Go go the distance. You got to fight. You don't have rights, especially when it comes to these financial things. We live on an economic planet. That's the only reason I made this damn YouTube channel It's to arm you with information, tools, tactics, tips, anything I can give you that I find out and that I find from other people to aid you in your quest for your pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness. And that includes what? That includes amassing wealth. That's what that includes. But you got all of these hurdles that's put in front of you to, to prevent you from doing that. And sometimes it's done unjustly. Get your justice. Tilt the scales in your favor.